I notice every year as you walk around, not just shows like the SEMA show, but even your local car shows, the metal work that you see in race cars, modified cars, restored cars, is becoming more and more advanced, and it seems to be more approachable by non-professionals. I think the regular guy at home can now get his hands on some cool tools to make some really kick-ass stuff. And I'm here today with Mike Miller from Miller Brothers, and you guys make the machines that make this stuff happen. Yeah, that's exactly right. And, and what I say to a lot of our customers is, you know, you might drive by a lot of garages on the way home at night from your job and not even know that they, that the uh, customer has Mittler product in their garage. And of course, you know, the top leading fabricators across all the motorsports have a lot of Mittler blue in their shop. So give me your thoughts on the capabilities that, that, as I say, you know, regular guys can now get their hands on. Well, I think, uh, you know, all of our equipment, you know, we try and make where it has high enough quality for the professional fabricator, but still try and keep it at a somewhat affordable price so the, the do-it-yourselfer, the pro-am type guy can afford the equipment. And, and I think the advantage of our equipment is it is high quality. It's all made in USA. We're very proud of that. And, and we like to think that it's the uh, customer's making an investment. He's not incurring any expense in buying our equipment. It, it'll give him a long, long life with just a very little amount of uh, care. Now, let's talk about some of the, what we might call the essentials. I mean, if you were going to say, hey, if you're going to get into the restoration or racing hobby, what are some of the basic Mittler products that you think, you know, no guy should be without? Well, of course, you know, one of our leading machines is our, our bead rolling machine. Uh, we've recently expanded the capability of that machine, and we'll show you some examples of that in a few minutes here. Uh, the metal brake, uh, you know, is a kind of an essential piece of equipment that a guy needs to have because, you know, you always buy sheet, whether it's steel or aluminum, and it's flat, and invariably you got to put a bend on it. So those two machines are kind of a critical piece for the higher-end guy that's doing more volume of work. Uh, you know, the metal shear would be a very nice enhancement farm also just speeds up the job makes a nice clean cut so those are a couple of our three leading pieces especially around the sheet metal work it would be really important for the fabricator to have now as we look around your display here we see some really intricate artistic pieces uh, from the seeds stuff that is framed hanging on the wall uh, tell me about what those pieces are and how they fit in your program. Well, we recently uh, uh, did a deal with uh, Jamie Jordan, uh, you know, who we, who we say is really a metal artist. Uh, even though he's an expert fabricator, he really has metal artistic capability. So we created a Jamie Jordan signature series of equipment around that, and, uh, and, and that's what, you know, shows the artwork uh, type of capability there beyond just the normal metal work that maybe you and I have focused on during our metal working career. Careers, and now we've opened this uh, up there. So yeah, that's what's really new and, and uh, really allowed that intricate work, as you say. Now, is this just a sticker on a regular piece, or have you guys figured out some ways to make this more friendly to the artist? Yeah, absolutely, that's what we've done. You know, we've enhanced the machine. Of course, our basic 24-inch bead roller we've made for many years, very proven, very uh, well-accepted machine in the, in the industry. The first thing that a, uh, uh, a customer might notice is we've added this table, and uh, when doing that intricate work, most of the work is in the flat, and so Jamie didn't want to have to be trying to keep the material flat as he worked it. So we added the, the table to the standard 24-inch machine. It can be added to any existing machine that a customer may have, or of course, if, if it's a new customer, we can include it with the machine. Uh, we made the table where it's easily uh, removable, so to speak, so uh, for the guy that has a large piece or maybe something with a radius on it, he's able to just flip the table up out of the way, uh, he can even put his Allen wrench right in there as a safety so it won't fall down while he's using it. And then he can, he can use the machine, as we say, the old days way to use it. Uh, the other very unique feature that we've added uh, that allows for a lot of that intricate work is we've now made the upper shaft uh, adjustable where you can offset the upper roll from the bottom roll. And that's what really opened up a lot of the unique capabilities that the machine had. So we have a, a very easy adjustable stop on the end of the roll here so that you can make the adjustment, look at where you want your offset on your roll, and then you've got it. And then the other thing we've done, just kind of the cool look, we added that kind of the shifter ball style of handle here just to uh, make it uh, really pop out and uh, look different. So no, it's more than just a sticker. 
We really have physically changed the machine to give more capacity and more flexibility to the machine. The good thing about these lower dies that we came up with is they don't hash over when you're going over like you would see like with a skateboard wheel or something like that. And then they, it's more consistent. So if you want a deep, deep bead or you want to go really deep or you don't want to go deep, you can. And you can kind of dial it in a lot better this way. It's kind of your thing. Yeah. yeah, it's it's kind of whatever it is you want to do with it. But. Well, and I like the fact that these are additions you can make if you already have a Midler payroll. Yes, of course, we've tried to do that through all our life. It's not obsolete anything that someone would have purchased over the years for us. Uh, you know, even though I, we went to the billet aluminum frame a number of years ago, all of our be all of our rolls still fit all of our basic pieces, so we're able to service and maintain that equipment for our customer for all that long life that we talked about. Mm -hmm. Another thing I think is interesting is you mentioned, you know, your, our metalworking career, uh, because you guys are, you got a lot of enthusiasts in your industry, in your company. Well, yeah, actually, you know, we have a, 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 almost all of our guys have got some sort of a sideline interest in metalworking and racing and hot rodding and restoration. Uh, one of my employees uh, uh, custom built and restored a, a Toyota Land Cruiser. He recently went uh, for two weeks to Colorado on a hunting trip with it. He said he didn't have one issue. And it's got a lot of unique special bent tubing and special created sheet metal on it because of him working there. Of course, a number of our guys are involved in racing, both stock car racing and drag racing racing so we're always getting input from our guys of what the what the industry uh, needs and uh, we still continue ourselves to race in the NASCAR truck series so that gives us a pretty direct link to the high high-end NASCAR type racer so this whole company grew to support the racing haven't it well yeah it kind of <laughs> did you know uh, uh, it, it really we had both on day one when we started we had the product line we had been working on the product line kind of in our garage at home when we started and then when we when we started the company, of course, it was a natural, and we started with one little product, the hydraulic tubing notcher, and now it's grown through through, uh, through both organic growth and acquisition to where we have a 100-page catalog of products that we offer our customers today. Yeah, it's unbelievable. Well, tell us where people can find and, and buy their own Mittler tools and equipment. Of course, you can always look us up online. Seems to be the predominant way today. Our, our website is mittlerbros.com. And uh, we have an 800 number, so our customers can call us at any time, 800-467-2464. Well, and this is new here at SEMA, huh? This is the first time for this product to be shown in public, yes. We kind of teased our customers with it a little bit online and said, come see us at SEMA. So this is the first release of the product here at SEMA, first time to show it in public. Well, we're really excited because we just recently added a few Mittler tools to the repertoire of things we have in our shop. I know Kelly's super excited to play with this stuff. So we appreciate the support and uh, have an excellent show. We appreciate it, Mike. Thank you, man. Yeah, look forward to it, and I hope that stuff works out well for you in your shop. Well, we know it will.